Hello, once again, Niner Faithful Johnny Doe back with a special trade edition of 49ers Playbook on the channel that's trying to answer the whys and hows of the game. The 49ers world was thrown into a frenzy with the shocking announcement that San Francisco had traded for running back Christian McCaffrey. He's a star running back in the prime of his career who will fit perfectly into Kyle Shanahan's scheme. The offense has been struggling getting consistent production from the run game since Elijah Mitchell went down, and this will give a much needed boost to an area Kyle loves to lean on. So let's jump to some film and see how McCaffrey will fit into and be used by Kyle Shanahan in this offense. You're watching Johnny Dell's Football Academy. We've been struggling getting our outside zone going, and McCaffrey offers a different burst in the run game than what we've had. Here, you're going to see the Panthers run a weak side wide zone. Arizona actually times a blitz into the run well and looks like it's going to be stopped for a loss. But look at the change of direction ability. This is what we've been lacking in the wide zone pretty much since Mostert went down. The wide zone requires players to be decisive, put their foot in the ground, and get vertical. He provides that. This should be a loss on the play, but it's a 10-yard gain. You can run him outside, you can run him inside, he's a special player. Here they're coming with a wham play. The burst up the middle and the ability to get yards after contact are evident all over the film. Then he's a checkdown monster. He turns a checkdown into nice gains. Here, Mayfield doesn't like his verticals with Arizona playing a little soft. He checks it down to McCaffrey, who picks up 9 yards. Again, he can take a simple check down and make more out of it. This is a little check down, and he makes Dre Greenlaw, who has been playing out of his mind this year, miss and turns a check down into a first down. Then again, the change of direction. Here, the Panthers are running a toss sweep. Hafanga, who's been playing lights out, has a great angle on the play. This is just how you teach pursuit, but look how he can put his foot in the ground and change direction on the run. Now imagine this in a 49ers offense that is one of the best in the league in creating misdirection. Here, the Panthers are just running an inside dive. He fills the hole and now is one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Again, look at the change of direction and burst. You get this guy one-on-one -on -one with a safety and it's just unfair. Then he adds so much to the pass game. This is a taste of exactly how Kyle Shanahan can use him. Carolina comes out in 21 personnel with two backs and one tight end. This puts the Rams in their base defense. They have the wide receivers in a twins formation. With a safety over the slot and a single safety deep, it reveals cover three zone. They motion McCaffrey out, and they're going to run one of Kyle's favorite plays. It's a short post, or Kyle calls it arches. They're going to bring the tight end on a shallow cross that will sit down versus zone, and then McCaffrey on an arches or short post, and it puts the hook curl in a horizontal stretch. You can force these mismatches on defense when you have a guy who presents just as much of a run threat as a receiving threat. In 21 personnel, the defense has to stay in base to protect against the run. But then you can do stuff like this where he and Kittle work on linebackers in the pass game and work between the zones. And his vision is just outstanding. Here the Panthers are trying to run a lead play. Watch the vision to see the opening, then jump cut and burst. Y'all, I'm getting really excited about this guy in red and gold. Then again, a weapon in the pass game. Here, they're again out in 21 personnel, and this time, McCaffrey is split wide. They're just going to run a quick play action and hit McCaffrey on a quick out. 
Think about this. You can put Debo, Mitchell, Wilson in the backfield, split McCaffrey out wide. You get coverage checks, and you have the equal ability to run or pass. If the defense goes to safety to protect against Christian in the pass game, you can run it with Debo or Mitchell or Wilson. If they protect against the run like this, you got Christian in space, who's a phenomenal route runner. It's going to create so many tough choices for the defense. Again, the ability to bring production as a dump off. I know this sounds so simple, but it's what it adds to what the team already loves to do. Here, the Panthers are going to run a pin concept off play action, which if you've seen the channel before, you know that one of Kyle's favorite plays is the pin concept. Well, what happens when the play gets covered well? Here, that happens. Well, you can dump it off to McCaffrey and still get a first down. You have answers at every level of the defense. You have the ability to run them on swing passes and screens as an extension of the run game, and no one utilizes the wide screens as an extension of the run game like Kyle Shanahan. You have him as a receiver out of the backfield. Kyle loves to have these choice routes out of the backfield. Here is the playoffs against Green Bay. We need points and we win game on the line, we're going to try and hit Ayuk on a looky route, but have Debo on a choice route. Now put McCaffrey there, or McCaffrey where Mitchell is running a quick out, or Debo running the quick out. How are you covering all of these options in the pass game? Another thing we like to use out of the backfield are these wheel routes. In the 21 season against the Colts, we have Hasty in the backfield. The Colts are in press man, something we've struggled against, and we have Hasty on a wheel route versus a linebacker. Now, put McCaffrey there. You can see the potential this year when we run the same play with Debo in the backfield. I also foresee Kyle dipping into some plays back from the Falcons days. Here you see what Kyle can do with dynamic speed and route running from the running back position. This is Tevin Coleman, but they're going to run a flood concept, but now you use the running back out of the backfield on the deep out. That completely messes with the matching rules of the defense that they're used to seeing these plays come from. You can now put McCaffrey in that spot and run the same thing, and you also get an equal threat in the run game. Again, wide zone, you don't have to give him much room. He's got the burst to get through the hole and the power to go through an arm tackle. So let's look at the matchup problems this creates in Kyle's offense. Here Kyle's in 11 personnel with one back and one tight end, and you have Debo in the backfield. The Rams had gotten passed on out of 11 personnel when they tried to match it in base, so now they're in nickel. And they're going to get a good run from Debo because now you have Jalen Ramsey playing inside as a run stopper. So now the Rams come out in base versus 11 personnel. Look at the attention you get towards Debo as Kittle motions. As you have the threat of those tunnel screens from Debo, it clears out room and you get Elijah Mitchell on a big run. Now we empty out. Now look at the space that Debo has to work and what he's able to do when the defense doesn't have the same speed on the field. It's a house call. McCaffrey also brings the home run ability that we've been missing from the run game this season. He creates so much stress on the edge, the Panthers are going to come with a power run, something we've been doing more of this year than in the past, and you give him a hole, he's gone.
And again, problems in the pass game. Here the Jaguars are coming with cover one man. You have McCaffrey one-on-one -on, -one on a linebacker in coverage. That's a win every time. This is so important because one thing we've struggled with is beating man coverage consistently. Now, how does a team contain McCaffrey and man coverage when you have an Ayuk, Kittle, Debo as well? But it's the vision, the change of direction, the home run threat all in one. Here it's a split zone and the Panthers are going to send a wide receiver around on a reverse motion. Miles Jack has to respect that. The play looks stopped, but the vision, change of direction to hit the hole and once he's through, he's gone. Now think about how much teams have to respect Debo or Ayuk on these reverses. Or you can put Jeff Wilson in there who's a great blocker and he can also be a threat to run as well. It stresses the backside pursuit. And now this is what happens when you have a stud at running back. The options for Kyle Shanahan now aren't just a couple wrinkles. He's a game changer on offense. He's a guy that changes the entire timbre of the team. It's a secret sauce that makes everything better, and there's no single impact on offense that we could have than the addition of a player like this. I can't wait to see how this grows and expands as the season goes. It's crazy what two months in the NFL could do. August 21st, no one expected Jimmy Garoppolo and Christian McCaffrey in the backfield for San Francisco. But here we are, and the team is making an aggressive push for a Super Bowl. Y'all, this is some of the most exciting action for the team in a while. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as I break down the game film each and every week showing the whys and hows of the game. So let's go out this week, beat the Chiefs, and take control of the division. And the conference is wide open for San Francisco to make a deep run. It's so exciting, so much to look forward to. So as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and go Niners.